something in my budget next month. They will send you a check to buy your groceries for a month or whatever you want to spend it on. And if you're an individual earning up to $150,000 a year, it's $300. What does that look like? All right. How about that for individuals? Now, if you're filing jointly and you have a family, you need a little more, right? Mm -hmm. Families are expensive. How about this? $500. $500. For families earning less than $300,000, because I know life in New York City is expensive and your salaries may sound nice, but they don't go very far. I thought he was very measured, and I thought his overall interview, by the way, was really good. The tone was good. He's clearly focused on the future, not on going back into the past. That was a direct quote from him. He's focused on immigration. He's focused on bringing down prices and energy uh, exploration and energy production in the United States. These are all the priorities that he ran on. So I think his uh, projection of that about how his focus and his attention is going to be spent was good. On immigration specifically, I thought we got a very measured, reasonable, and realistic Donald Trump. Uh, he knows it's a problem he's got to solve. He knows he needs to work with Democrats, especially in the Senate, to get something done. And he knows the American people are tired of inaction on this. And so I, I thought he hit all the right notes. I mean, he, he talked to Kristen Welker for over an hour. We only got to see a portion of it. But I watched the entire thing. I thought from soup to nuts, Donald mm -hmm. Trump was had a really good weekend, both from his trip to Europe uh, and then also on this uh, NBC interview. If he can sort of maintain this kind of problem-solving posture, He's going to get off to a really good start in January. I do want to touch on what you bring up really quickly before we go. This weekend trip where we saw him in France meeting with Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, meeting with uh, President Zelensky from Ukraine. Uh, Scott, I know I talked to you the day it was happening, uh, but it was striking because he is not the sitting president. He is the president elect right now. And yet here he was uh, meeting with these world leaders and really uh, looking quite presidential mm -hmm. over the weekend. Yeah, the country of the United States has moved on. The world has moved on. Donald Trump doesn't take office until January, but you can see the rest of the world is already treating him like he is the power center uh, of the United States. And so I'm glad he went. This cathedral reopening is a huge deal to so many people around the world, Catholics, Christians. It's a historical moment. It was also a chance for him to talk to some of our biggest allies, people he's going to have to be coordinating with on some of these problems that uh, Joe Biden is leaving behind. Donald Trump is hitting the ground running. I mean, he's already out doing the things that we need him to do to get the country back on track. So between that, between his interview with Meet the Press, you can see here that Donald Trump is not going to have a passive uh, presidency. This is going to be an active start to this presidency. And the rest of the world responds to leadership. We've not had a strong president. We have one now. Everybody knows it.